<laughs> okay, this is the first, first, first episode with the Shoe Dog Podcast. As you can see, it's me, TJ, and the awesome person who made this come to fruition, which is 808Q. Uh, as you can see, he's probably going to share this on his channel. I'm going to share this on my channel so we can get the Shoe Dog Podcast up and running. So, bro. You're the, you're the creator of this invention. You're the creator of this crazy idea called the Shoe, Shoe, Shoe Dog Podcast. So do you want to give us a bit of insight on what this is all about? Well, the Shoe Dog concept came from actually the good brother, he got soul, the banter that we have back and forth all the time when we go live on Instagram with Straight to the Toe. And um, <laughs> it started off as a joke. And it became something that was real, something that I realized I'm a shoe dog. If I'm a shoe dog, that means TJ is a shoe dog. <laughs> and so, pretty much so. <laughs> yeah, that's how the concept was born. As you can see, if you look at TJ's background, he's definitely a shoe dog. I don't have Bro. all mine in display right now, but. I can, see, I can see. I can see two. I can see two in the background, bro. I can see two. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's your mini shoe dog. <laughs> that, no. that's, that's not. That's not a big howl. That's a little howl. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is. This is where. <laughs> is that book is that book bro it's that book <laughs> this, this this book is literally the father of the shoe dog concept because i would love i love throwing that book at people when they when they show exhibiting shoe dog behavior <laughs> <laughs> what 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 is shoe dog behavior bro <sighs> it, it's it's a multitude of things man like we 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 chase we chase these shoes like a dog chasing a car down the street. <laughs> we chase them, we chase them like a dog chasing a tennis ball, catching a frisbee, like whatever you want to call it, man. But that's, this, that's this is, what, 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 what would what would King Rod say there, bro? What would King Rod say there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing okay it's a beautiful like, thing. literally literally this is our first attempt at doing this podcast so bear with us with all the sound effects because we still need to iron out some issues but we are we're basically trying we're, we're trying to um launch the shoe dog podcast um and it's gonna be great hopefully it's gonna be great informative what we're trying to do is make sure um you guys have all the information and all the knowledge and all the up up rev information and guidance to cop the sneakers because as we can say like bro it's hard out in these streets <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> it's very it difficult is like grs grs are almost um hype status right now oh yeah 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 not even almost like uh, and that's that's part of the thing um in my opinion that makes this podcast important and necessary because yep. clearly I'm I'm from the United States. I don't have a um I have a I have a US accent. To TJ, I have a US accent. <laughs> and I've and I've and I've got that British accent. Like you say, it's all buttercup, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly. it's all buttercup. <laughs> or, so, or, or like the British should say, it's all buttercup. <laughs> buttercup buttercup <laughs> so so we bring it we bring it two different perspectives we got the u.s perspective i'm um i'm in atlanta born and raised in atlanta tj is from the uk and our experiences are different and similar at the same time and yeah, we're yeah, pretty yeah. much bridging the gap for the u.s viewers y'all get perspective on the uk culture and vice versa. The UK people get exposure to the US culture and we're here to talk about it. We're here to make jokes about it. We like like TJ said, we give him information because TJ is one of the people in my circle that always has good information concerning releases, concerning restocks, and, and all that good stuff. So that's where it's, we it's, 
it's 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 important it's important like it, i think it's important to kind of know what what's happening uh, around you it's it, it, like especially especially with like a very expensive hobby like sneakers it's very important that you, you kind of be self aware and and you know what you're doing and how to maneuver because the worst thing you want to do is say you want to spend uh 300 pounds on a sneaker pre-sale or 300 pounds off for resale when you know yeah, there's restocks of that when you know potentially there's going to there's going to be loads and loads of stock levels for that sneaker. So it's important that you know, it's important that you work out what's happening. It's important that you kind of get get informed. So and especially being in the UK, because we are going to look at some of the releases in 2022. So I, I I've got a video out today about well on Sunday for six I uh, know we'd record this on Sunday, but I've got a video out on six PM today. Um and it talks about talks about what's going to be happening in terms of the cops for 2022 because it's going to be difficult, and we'll talk about it a bit in this one as well because obviously by the time we upload this, it's, it's going to be way past Sunday, but it's going to be difficult, bro. <laughs> it's yeah, going to be yeah. difficult, and it's it's been difficult since um, since I entered the sneaker game. Um, I've only been a part of the sneaker community, the sneaker culture, for a little over three years now. I started in late 2018 i've loved sneakers for a very very long time um i was i was raised i grew up in the 80s and 90s and i've loved yeah. sneakers since i can remember um 1990 1989 actually when i when i first understood um the jordan sneaker yeah. And um, of course, Nike, Nike has been a mainstay throughout my life. I've always seen Nikes. But once I got to that age where kids start to care about fashion and being cool and looking cool to their peers and whatnot, um, sneakers became very, very important. But I was I wasn't a part of the sneaker culture until I was a grown man. And I, yeah, I yeah. then I then understood how serious, how very serious the sneaker culture is. It's it's a yeah. whole it's a whole nother world. <laughs> bro, it's it's worse than crack, bro. <laughs> it's worse than crack. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's definitely plug a it, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, de it's definitely a addiction. I mean, I I had no idea. Listen, and subcultures that because this. This sneaker culture is a true subculture. When when you're outside of a subculture, you don't understand how serious it is. Like coming up, I was I was a big on music. So yeah, when yeah. you in the music culture, there are so many things. When you're an artist or a producer or an engineer or whatever part, even as a fan, like people people play different roles in the culture. In the sneaker culture, you have the sneaker head, you have the retailers, you have the resellers, and you have the, the companies, the brands themselves, and you have the collaborators. So it's, it's very, very deep. It's very diverse. And we stress diversity as far as sneaker heads go. Yeah, we yeah. don't, I know myself personally, I, I, uh, I have a real bad taste in my mouth for resellers. Um, but they are indeed a, a part of the subculture. I, I won't I don't know if they I don't know if they deserve a place in the sneaker community. Do, do you do you think it's a needed necessity though? Like uh, I'm going to I'm going to just touch um a, a bit on the base of what you said when you were younger. Like, bro, who wasn't as a kid like impressionable? Who like if your friends were wearing something, you always wanted to wear the same thing. So we all professional. Uh, you know, we all in that state of mind where yo, I want what you want, but I also want what you haven't got. And then that's always been like that. And I think as an adult, some people some people grow out of it, some people don't. And and that's that's I think the semi emphasis on like resellers like basically sometimes like, and, it, and it kind of drives resellers because some people want something that you don't have so some people want something that you know you haven't got that but i want that and because you haven't got that i like that even more because basically you haven't got it so that's kind of the emphasis of hype this is like kind of let's just be honest that is kind of like the emphasis of hype uh is is so so hype is tied to exclusivity no yeah yeah exactly yeah. Ex exclusivity 
in the sneaker in any culture really exclusivity like when you look at fashion to be able to have a one of 20 or a one of 100 even one of a thousand with as many people as there there are in the world yeah. as, as sneakerheads exclusivity drives hype exclusivity gives clout to a certain degree like Oh man, I, I never saw those. But I got a friend, uh, <laughs> my friend just got the three lab fives, the gray ones. Yeah. And he he is a he's not a sneakerhead per se, or he wasn't a sneakerhead, and he had his first I, experience yesterday with somebody saying, Oh man, I ain't what the fuck are those? Like them, those hard as hell. Like, where you get those from? <laughs> I never seen those before. And he called me and he was so happy to have that experience because he's never had it before. He's never um, he's never had somebody speak to him about exclusivity. And it, it I could hear it in his voice. Like me and you, we're probably used to it, you know, but a lot of people are not going to give you that. Normally, it's the people that you know, in my experience, it's normally the people that you know that will give you that acknowledgement, but to get yeah. it from a stranger in the street, it just takes it to another level, man. Because people that know you, they know what you do. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a prime example. Like I was looking at the top of my screen because I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know my camera's here, my PC is here, and my top screen's up there, so I can actually look. I can, I have like two separate screens to share this. So I'm gonna share something with you, bro. Right. I'm right. gonna share something with you, right? So basically, right, um, we're gonna I'm gonna go through this. So we we were talking about height. We were talking about height and we were talking about how numbered pairs um are more exclusive than unnumbered pairs. So this we all remember the homage to homes, right? Right. I've got a pair, I've got unnumbered pair, right? And I love the unnumbered pair. Exactly the same, I would say. Maybe the numbered pair have got a little bit more quality than the unnumbered pair. Well, if we talk about colorways, if we talk about kind of just the aesthetics of it, exactly the same sneaker, right? So I'm going to pull up my size, bro, right? <laughs> I'm going to pull up my size. And you can see my size is going for like 450 by now, right? Now I'm going to pull up the size for numbers pairs. Remember that 450 marker, bro? Remember mm -hmm. that 450 marker. How much does that say there, bro? That's 1,100, uh, uh, sorry, 1,008 pounds, which is that, about, that's about 1,200 <laughs> US. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's almost like double, uh, it's more than double the, the price of the unnumbered pair. So when you when we talk about being an, a, an identical sneaker, like the homage to home non-numbered non pairs, to the numbered pairs, exactly the same thing, bro, exactly the same thing. Right. So maybe what. maybe the quality is slightly better on the numbered pairs. May, just for the fact that it's got that number on the pair, right? It makes such a massive difference. And, yeah. and it's like, why do you need to have a numbered pair? Like, and let me let me let's just get this straight. Like, when the numbered pairs came out, they weren't going for much more than the unnumbered pairs. And over time, over the last couple of years, the price has gone mental. It's like, wow, really? It's, really? It's because, like, how's... It's because of that exclusivity, that hype. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, and, and this, is, this, is where, this is where hype is driven. But like, like I was going to say, is I think resellers uh, have got a market. I've, I've definitely got a market here, and I think they have a place in community, in the community, as um, in terms of in the sneaker community. But where they belong, and the, the extent of the reselling is is a total matter, just total kind of questionable uh, equation. Because when when you have a when you have a real look at it, is do you, do you, does it does, does a little kid like say you say you're eighteen you're you you're eighteen you got a job doesn't pay you well but you got enough to pick up maybe two or three sneakers. And it means that when you pick up those two free sneakers, you pick up a free sneaker for yourself. You resell that. Now you have a sneaker that you couldn't afford, but you now can't afford because that's the fashion because you're trying to keep up with that fashion. So that kind of reselling, I can get behind. I'm like, all right, cool. This kid's doing his hustle. But when you're talking about botting, <laughs> that's a totally different matter, bro. That's, 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 that's killing. That's killing this. That's killing the industry. Like in terms in, in of the word, us general sneakers. In the words of Love for Kicks cams. Bots are evil. Yeah, botting, yeah. botting is evil. There's a reason why in the U.S. they are now putting laws in place to eliminate bots. 
yeah, yeah. It's it's evil. It's um, it's 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 a, it's the, that's the vulture. That's the culture vulture part of sneaker culture. Because I tell you what, you got resellers. You know what a Venn diagram is, right? You're an engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to know yeah. a Venn diagram. Okay, so we got sneaker heads here. We got resellers here. There is in the Venn diagram of sneaker culture, there's that mid section where the, the person that you're talking about is reselling to compensate for what they're spending. They want to get their shoe for exactly. So, <laughs> so on the Q, on the Q side is the sneaker head is me and you. Yeah. On the P side is the reseller right there in the middle is the person that's buying to compensate. They want the yep. shoe. They want to wear the shoe. They love shoes, but they, they, they see the resale culture and they try to take advantage of it. That P that P represents the people that want to take advantage of the Q side. Those people, yeah. don't, they don't wear Jordans. They don't wear Yeezys. They don't wear ASICs. They don't wear New Balance. These, man, I see, I see people, I see people wearing Chuck Taylors, and, and beat up slides and and stuff like that. And they come, they come to buy up all the shoes and they sell every last pair. They're not putting. They might put on a hype pair, maybe. They'll put Bro. on a Travis Scott. They'll put on a, the, the, the the grinding shoes. <laughs> 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 you, you put you put them on when you're going through some struggles, bro. Like when you're going through the dirt, that's the grinding shoes, bro. <laughs> Listen, I, bro. Resellers, I've seen resellers with, and, and this is no shot at nobody, okay? Because not everybody is a part of. Everybody wears shoes. Shoes is a part of life, okay? To to go outside, you need to have coverage. You need to have protection for your feet. That's what it is at the at the essence of it. So what, what, what's that saying? What's that saying? Shoes, shoes on your feet make your life complete. <laughs> that's exactly. a reason. That's a re that's that is a proper sneaker saying. So shoes on your feet. The 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 dad that wears the monarchs or um the athlete that that you know he has to have shoes to be able to perform and, and do what do his job. The reseller that doesn't wear cool shoes should not be a part of the sneaker culture, in my opinion. Like if if your main concern is to profit off of people that like cool shoes, you don't belong. It's 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 you're a culture vulture. So what's what's the, uh, so basically we know we know what culture vulture means, but what's what's the limits like? How, where 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 are you cutting it off and saying you are a culture vulture? Yeah, like, where, where where is it like you're saying now? Okay, cool. Um, because you're doing this now, you are a culture vulture. If if you if you bought if you went out and bought this uh this past holiday season, if you went out and bought or bought it 50, 20, 30, 40, 50 pairs, 100 pairs of cool gray 11s, and you do not own any Jordan 11s to put on your feet, if you buy every Jordan 1 release and you don't own any Jordan 1s, not because you don't like Jordans, not because you don't like 1s or 11s, or no, you wear, you wear XJ nine hundreds. <laughs> you wear, you wear, you wear Walmart shoes. I've seen people at in lines <laughs> in in first come first serve lines wearing Walmart shoes. But but they but they could be like a Frank Lucas bro and going to buy going to buy like fifty pairs of breads to give back to the community. <laughs> is is a is a drug dealer not a culture vulture? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, probably. You're right. You're right. You don't you don't you don't smoke crack, but you sell it to people that love it. 
<laughs> profiteering <laughs> is definitely profiteering. Yeah, I, 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 I can, I can, I can, I can understand that. But like, it, we each to their own. Like, I think it's it's important to, to realize that um, some some people have got a hustle and some you got to recognize that. But it does make like copying harder. It does make uh, copying harder a lot harder than it's supposed to be. But saying Listen, that, I, I saying respect, that, I respect the person that will buy five pairs and keep one. I'll do that for myself. The difference yeah. is, and I know this the same about you, we buy shoes for people that are going to wear the shoes and we don't yeah. charge them extra. No, no, no. I, I, so fa- let's, talk, let's talk facts and figures. So I think last year, and this, this, is, this, is, this, is a, this is a guilty thing from my side because I think if you're a shoe dog, <laughs> like you say we are, uh, I think I, I probably did cop about 48 pairs. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, bro. That's the one. I think I did. I did. I, I think I copied, um, I copped 48 pairs, personal pairs for myself last year, which is quite bad in itself. That's mm. pretty much. Uh, a, that's pretty much a sneaker a week. So, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not good, but. On the on the flip side, was I did manage to cop uh, in excess of like sixty five to sixty. Yo, stop holding that book up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did manage to cop sixty five to uh, sixty five to seventy sneakers for other people, and and, I, and the thing, and then that wasn't that wasn't even to, for me to get any resource from. That's me to give pe- give back to people that can't or struggle to cop sneakers and and that was that was more an incentive for me last year um because i met um ego so because i because i met met eric so like because i met him i was like i need he lives uh, if you don't know he if you don't know he go follow he he dot got the soul on instagram he's he's the bro but he lives in east africa bro Right, right, um, and and a bit a bit of background about me. I, I was born in East Africa, and I moved I moved, and I moved to London, um, the UK, when I was four years old. So I I, I lived in um, Tanzania, where he where he's resides in. So I've got empathy. For, uh, I got I have I got massive empathy for him. So in saying that, when he's struggling to cop sneakers, and he's the bro, and I've got his, got to know got to know him in twenty twenty no twenty twenty, and then twenty nineteen back in the twenty nineteen. And he's struggling. I'm like, you know what? I got you because I'm walking into these shops um, in in London, and they've got they've got everything he wants, or oh, most of the things he wants. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. All right, here you go, bro. Ship it to you. Here you go. And all, 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 all I ever do is he gives me retail and shipping, and he's got the pair. And what? and to, to be honest, it's great to see that. And you know, over time, it's kind of brought me a bit more happiness that I'm actually able to do that for him because. He struggles. He's, he's, he genuinely struggles to get sneakers. So uh, that, that's been that's been a very important factor last year. And off the back of that, I think I, it's just gone into me picking sneakers up for him, to me picking sneakers up for everybody that, that I know and and you know love and respect. To be honest, and and the more people I've got to know, the more I've said, "All right, cool, bro. I've, I've got you. If you need this, like, I've got you. If you need this," and then it's kind of developed from there. And Let's just be and let's just be let's be honest. I've only been on Instagram properly in since back in since early March, April, no, February, March time last year, 2021. Um, and like I've only started my YouTube channel in August. So it, I, it, I'm relatively new to the social scene, but it, it's, ne- it's never been about numbers and facts and figures. It's always been about helping people and helping community. And this is why I always try and give the best advice. Um, and like, like, like as a sneakerhead, I've been collecting for a good while, like probably six years now. Um, and that's when I actually first really got back into sneakers. So I, I was a massive, like, I, I've never, I've been from the UK, I've never been like a massive Air Max, uh, Air Max guy or so. And, and Air Maxes don't really suit my style or, or I, and they're kind of hard to fit me in terms of the, like the narrow width of Air Maxes. But from, I was always a Timberland guy. I always like wore the, a wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you a wide footer? Yeah, I, I'm a wide footer, bro. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't take nineties or ones. Like it's too narrow for me. So, so in reality, I, I, I wear those Timberlands. I wear those high, high boot Timberlands, those six inches. And I was like, yo, this is nice. I'm wearing them, rocking them. I, bro, at one point, 
um, in, in when I was about 24, 25, I was wearing Timberlands to the gym, bro. <laughs> 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 so, th- th- so like, and th- we're not talking about we're not talking a high cut. We're not talking a six inch high cut. We're talking about the mids, like you know the mids comfort mids. I was wearing those. Yeah, and, and, my, and my yeah, and my girlfriend was like, "Why are you wearing Timberlands to the gym?" It's like because it's comfortable. I don't want to wear sneakers. And to me, at that point in time, it was either Air Maxes or Timberlands. And now I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, I, the J- Jordan scene's massively picked up in the UK in the last. 10, I would say 10 years, five, going up to eight to 10 years. And I'm like, okay, cool. And now I've got options. Now I've got something that's, that I like. And then I got back into kind of picking them up. So I've been, I've been a sneaker for quite a while, but in terms of like, in the social scene, nah, I like, I've, I, I got to know you last year, bro. And we yeah. and look, we started this shoe, shoe dog podcast, which is, Yo. which is awesome. And, I, and you were an awesome, awesome person as well, which is, which is great. And, and the same, the same goes for you. Um, because, because I'm newer to this this, this sneaker culture, um, and I, I still, in a lot of ways, consider myself a rookie or a newcomer, and that's because the culture is so deep and it does go back so far. Like, I, there are certain silhouettes and colorways and collabs and limited releases that I still don't know about, and that's fine. The, the thing for me is when when people when when the sneaker snobs belittle people that don't know certain things about the culture when when I can I can speak on the culture I may not know every release from now to 20 years back but I know the culture I am. Mm-hmm. I am sincerely a part of this culture because I love sneakers. I'm not buying to impress people. I buy what I like yeah, yeah. and they're going on my feet. If they don't go on my feet, they don't belong in my studio. I I, I, I like your intro is probably one of the best I've heard. Like um, you buy a like, lot. You, you emphasize that in your intro of your YouTube videos. And I like that is as a, you buy what you like um, and you what you rock what you like. And then that's the most important thing is it's uh, it's some so, to me like hype. Like we go back to hype, but hype's always there to impress people. And then like and over the years, I can tell you a massive, massive, massive thing over the years, bro. I've gone from like trying to improve i could say when i first started picking up sneakers seriously i probably was like trying to impress people but now it's like in 2017 or 2016 was probably the pinnacle when i was like i'm not i'm i don't want to impress people i i want to just buy what i want and buy what i want what i want to rock Mm-hmm. And then when the when it came with a hype tag to it let's forget the price tag when it came with a hype tag to it and i was like I don't like that. I don't like that because it's hype. And this is probably the reason why, and I know, I know I've discussed this in my reviews for on, on YouTube, is this is probably the reason why I didn't like the Wave Runners when they initially first came out. You know the OG Wave Runners? Yeah. When 2017, yeah, it, it was too much hype. It was, it was too much stigma, too much hype. They pre-released it. Then they, then they distributed it four months after. And I was like, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need it. I, I, I don't like the fact that people are scrambling to get this sneaker. Um, and it kind of made it deterred me from getting it because it's like I don't want to try no more to get it because it's too, it's too much, it's too much, too much effort to get a sneaker that I, I, I first of all don't really rock with, and second of all, I was like, ah, it's okay. But the co- you're always allowed to change your mind, and that's the most important thing. Is like over over time, the more more it came out, the more silhouettes that came out, I kind of grew to love it a bit more because, the, like with Yeezys especially, the hype is or like hype is gone. Like there is there is still resale to it, there is some still marketing value to it, but more, majority of it, the hype is gone ish. So when when you when you when you pick up the sneakers and you're like, all right, okay, cool, I like that now because, I, it's easier to get. For first of all, it's easier to yeah. get, and second of all. It's like, okay, I can appreciate the silhouette more 
when I get it and I see it and I, and I get it in hand. And this is a massive, massive thing is when you get some sneakers in hand, you are, you are actually like blown away by them. Like, oh, actually, this is quite nice. Yeah, hype, hype is very misleading, bro. Um, let's, let's, let's talk about the Yeezy Quantum basketball. Oh, bro, bro, bro. I, I'm going to say, like, that I know what you're going to so, say. That shoe was so hyped with the, the, the rolling the tank through Chicago and... Oh, oh, oh. Bro, I can go to the mall right now and that shoe is sitting in abundance. Not that first colorway, but even that first colorway, when it got the proper release, it ended up sitting because... Yeah the hype had died and people realized that well a segment a segment of the community be it resellers or hype beast they realized that wait a minute people people are not going crazy about this shoe anymore mm -hmm. so i don't want it now i don't let the hype should not drive whether no. you want a shoe or not with, and that's to me. When, when, when I when I call somebody a shoe dog, or when I consider myself a shoe dog, that's that's not what it's about. It's not about hype. I I I refuse to let hype drive me. Now, yeah. if something is hyped and I like it, I like it. I don't like it because it's hyped. I like it because I like it. I'm gonna give you a prime example. Cool. I wore this. <laughs> I wore this shoe yesterday. That, no, that's what we're talking about, bro. That's what I, we're talking about. I bought this shoe at retail. I hit on a raffle at Hibbit, and this was at the beginning of COVID. I believe this shoe released in. It was either I think it was the beginning of April, 2020. This was the first shoe I bought after COVID started. And I, truth be told, I've only worn it maybe three. I think yesterday was my third time wearing it. You, okay. it's, clear, it's clearly worn. You can see the mud and the, the pebbles and Clean stuff. Clean your shoes, bro. Clean <laughs> your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but this shoe, the retail was... It was either 220 or 225. I can't remember, but it was over yeah, 200. Yeah. This shoe sat. Yes. This is the, the Jordan 4 Neon 95. It's based on the Air Max 95. Neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, this shoe I loved from the time I saw it. When I got it in hand, I, I loved it and I still love it to this day. I pulled it out yesterday and People, people will look. They may not speak on it, but they'll look. If you, exactly, exactly, that shoe sat and went on sale. And look at it now. Look at it. Yep. Yep. U.S. Not, and then, and, US and, we, and, we, and we will is for is like four thirty four forty something like that. And we and we're going to talk about this, like not probably not in this segment, like in terms of this week, because it's just an introduction. It's just us talking about just breaking it down. But we are going to talk about a segment where there has been sneakers that I've actually released that sat that massively sat. They went on discount, and um, two one year later, two year later, it's been crazy. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna, we looking at this. It's, this is 400. This is 400 at the moment. Uh, because this, this is, this is, this is based off the hype around fours at the moment. So there is a massive hype around fours at the moment. But I'm just gonna pull. I'm just gonna pull one sneaker up just to illustrate that. Just to illustrate, and I'll give you how much I got this. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm gonna pull up. You know what I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> right. <laughs> So this sneaker right here, right? Yo. Look at the price. Look at the price on that, bro. Uh, I had a chance to buy that shoe, VNDS. Yep. 
I didn't know what it was. This was 2019. I did not pull the trigger. It, it was in hand. I actually had it in hand in a in a in a thrift store. Give me, give, give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Man, I I'm so I'm so sore. I'm sore with myself right now because I did I chose not to pull the trigger on that shoe. That shoe and also that day I saw the Jordan so, I saw the Jordan 2 Chicago low. That same time I was looking at that shoe and I didn't pull the trigger on either one of them and I'm so hot so right I'm, now. I'm I'm going to I'm going to quickly I'm going to quickly do this. Right? I'm going to show you. This is what we're talking about. You know you the reason the reason why I brought this is I I bought, I didn't buy this on I didn't buy this when it first came out for retail, right? I saw somebody put the white laces in, and that changed my life, bro. That, that ah. changed my life. <laughs> and you know, and you know, and you know, and you know. If you know, you know, because like with those with those blue laces there, that and this is this is sometimes this is sometimes where it's awesome. Because when you change, a sneaker changes just because of the laces. Like, that's too blue. A lot of people didn't pick this up because it was too blue, too, too you know, hyper blue. And then when somebody put the laces in, because they give you a set of white laces, when somebody put those laces in, and when you rock them on the street, people crook their neck to say, what the hell was that? <laughs> right? I'll but tell you let's, what. Let's just, let's, let's, okay. Go on, go, bro. That was nice to be comfortable shoes. I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. I wish I had <laughs> shoes like that. 100%. And the quality, the quality on this sneaker is, is immaculate. The quality on this sneaker is, like, crazy. The, this is, the leather is soft. Probably, probably one of the most underrated sneakers. Now, this is the kicker. This is where it's, like you technically say, a kick in the balls. If you're a guy, it's a kick in the balls. Right? Mm. So I never got this. I never got this for retail. I never got this. I, I didn't even get this for resale. When the pro, when it came out, this went on sale, bro. Now look at the price, right? We're, to, we're talking about 264 pounds in my size. I would say take, take 190 of the price is what I actually got it for. I got that for 85 pounds, bro. Goodness gracious. That's that's like a hundred dollars. Yep. I I I got this for a hundred pounds. And then when I wore it, right, that's not that's not the kicker, bro. That is not the kicker. I had requests for some some other people say, oh, around me, people around me, like, can you get me a size seven and a half? It's so good. Can you get me a size eight? Can you get me a size six or so? UK, UK size. Then two weeks later, that went on sale on Foot Locker. So <laughs> I can't see yeah, your screen's all it's all white. So I I went I went on Foot Locker. And you know what? I give a piece of advice I give everybody is keep sometimes keep checking your Foot Locker accounts. Or your or the sales in the Foot Locker accounts because basically what they end up doing is they massively discount your the sneakers that they put on sale. So that sale sneaker went on a further sale sneaker on Foot Locker, and that's that price point was two hundred and fourteen pounds more cheaper than that size eleven, bro. It was fifty pounds. So I picked up three sneakers for the price of retail, and I gave it to them. For fifty pounds each. See, I didn't, I didn't know you then, and I'm mad because <laughs> of, I didn't know you then. And I, I, I actually, when that shoe released, I was not, um, I was not buying sneakers at the time. So um, that's that's what I have to, I have to choke on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I did since I started, I did go back and um, I bought a few pairs. One of which is. In my opinion, the greatest sneaker ever, which is the black metallic Jordan Five, um, and I only put in black the word black because the original sneaker then had a white version. So now you have to ver you have to put in that that word black or white 
to let yeah, people yeah. know which you can't just say metallic Jordan five because you may be talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. the white one. But I went back and got my grill, my number one grill, and I only have one pair. Um, if if the black metallic Jordan five releases can, can, again, can we can we get a howl for the Jordan five? Because probably one of the best speakers ah. out there. There you go, bro. The Jordan five, the Jordan five is what I fell in love with. Like, like beautiful Jordan fives. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that kind of person, right? With which will rock mismatching sneakers. I, I, I personally have a finite love for mismatching sneakers. So when those red suede fives came out, and when those blue suede fives came out, you know, no, what you I, didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I became Superman for a day, bro. <laughs> they say, and the looks I had, bro, the looks I had. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It was, it was funny. It was funny. And you know what? Sometimes you just don't give a. Do you see what I'm saying? You just have to do it. You just have to do it. And you know, I, I wish I, I wish I kept this. This is before social media. This is before anything, bro. Because I was like, you know what? I don't care. I just want to rock when I'm rock. I want to wear what I wear. I had pictures and I sent them to my mate. Um, he lost the pictures. I lost the pictures. But you know what? We have to recreate that moment because I still got the red suede fives. I still got the blue suede fives, and we have to rock them out. And we, wait, I will wait, 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 have wait, to wait. do it properly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I have to do I'm going to do this to you right now on the first episode of the Shoe Dog Podcast. And it applies to me as well. Fit picks, bro. We have to do more fit picks. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. You rarely do fit picks. And I know you got the drip over there. Um, <laughs> we sit, we looking at we looking at your collection or part of your collection right now. I know you got way more sneakers than what we can see right now in the background. but. We need more TJ Love Kicks Customs fit, fit picks. picks. <laughs> we need that in t- from 2022 moving forward. I need Yo. fit picks, bro. I'm not going to leave. You. I'm going to be on you every week. <laughs> every week. I'm I know you, you are. You, you, you're, I know you are. You know what? The, 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 I, I, I could say whenever I put a fit pick up, uh, when, I put, when I put a fit and drip pick up, like – I had I had the varsity red and white. I actually let me pull it up. I had the varsity red and white jacket, right? Uh, on uh, on in the super in the, in the market. Like, like I I'm like I'm like my my whole my whole thing on social media is help people, right? So I, to be honest, I wear the sneakers I want to wear and I wear them where I want to wear them. But what I end up doing is. Not really taking the pictures because I'm like, yo, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, to do a review, do do advice, go on live, go have a discussion. No, I'm, I'm that that that's the kind of vibe. And then when you when I end up dropping a a pick, and uh, and even even Eric even E asked asked me to actually drop a pick. So like like I don't know if you can see this, but like I I'll, I'll drop a pick out, and that will instantly go like wait, hundred wait, likes. No, wait, wait, wait. Is that on IG? That's an IG. Pull it up, bro. Pull it up, bro. No, no, no. I'm talking about on the on the share screen. We not <laughs> we're not gonna do this right now. You're not gonna cheat the people. <laughs> You're not gonna cheat the people by showing your phone for two seconds. We need the fit pics from TJ. All right. We need them. My phone is so, ringing. So- I ain't got time. <laughs> Listen. Uh, let me just. Wait, no, wait, wait. <laughs> you're not. You're not doing this. You're, you're not doing this right now. Wait, so I'm wait, trying to log on to my account because I, I, don't, I don't normally log on to my uh, uh, my um, Instagram account for my for my for, for my um, laptop. So I need to kind of log in. Um, yes. Yes. However, um, like you're saying, this 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 phenomenon with and it is truly a phenomenon for me cuz I'm I'm seeing it for the first time in my sneaker if you want to call it career or my my time in the sneaker culture where I have sneakers from years past that sat and I can now pull them up on StockX and they're worth Three, four, five times the retail value. So, so, so that 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 there is, as you can see, 
m- m- most of my channel is either customs. Oh, by the way, I do customs. Uh, most of my channels are either customs, reviews, lives, um, and then just some reels. Oh, I do the sneaker news as well, which is quite funny because I try to make it quite funny. But yeah. <laughs> no, tune in, tune in to Love Kicks Customs on <laughs> IG. You have to catch the weekly sneaker news. It is the greatest, one of the greatest things you will see. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram, the shit is hilarious. The shit is is, is relevant. Yo, I'll, I'll tune in. Uh, so 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 basically, when when and when I start doing when I when I when I end up doing like um fit picks, so I see see that that's that's in Foot Patrol. Pull it up. I, I can't I can't I can't enlarge this at the moment. So okay, that, that that's 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 on that's on Foot Patrol. That that got 119 likes, which is which is which is which is uh, go away. It's okay. Uh, so, it's okay. so, 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 but when, when, so when you, when you, when you end up, when you end up, when I end up putting some fit drip picks, right? So they, they get, they get views, they get, they get likes. Um, I think the most, the most, the most radical one was not radical one. The most craziest it ever got was, um, and mind you, my following is not that big on, on Instagram either, because basically we, I'm, like I said, I've just started my, um, my journey into the social, uh, the social realm uh, last year, um, uh, early last year. So when I when I do put put some actual proper pictures with some fits and some sneaks, they do kind of go a bit crazy. Like uh, yeah. like the, like with the Chicago custom I did um, in the store, with which my girlfriend actually ended up snapping um, randomly. It, it it did it did get like a good two hundred two hundred likes. All right, cool. But yeah, this is the New Year's resolution: more pictures with kicks and drip. <laughs> Yo, my wife, my wife. Um, this I actually um, because I I'm it's early here. It's it's eleven fifty right now. What time is it for you? Um, it's four nearly five o'clock. Okay, nearly five so here. five hour difference. So I got up early this morning to be able to coordinate with TJ. Um, so I, I just put on the same fit that I had on yesterday. I will be posting pics of my fit because my wife hates when I put on a fit and do not take a picture. <laughs> okay. She <laughs> hates it. She she oh. under, She's very supportive. She understands. By, by the way, this 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 is this is the picture I was talking about. Like I did, I didn't know that look, my girlfriend was taking that picture. Look at him! Look, and I was like, that I, deserves, I, I, I was, I was, that I was just shopping, bro. Proper, a prop, because your porch, your porch is great. I've seen fit pics from your porch. Yo, that pic, that 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 fit right there deserved a drip pic. From your porch, sitting down, standing <laughs> up, a few different poses. We need that, bro. We need that. <laughs> I need to. I, I need. I definitely, definitely need to get on it because basically, um, I, 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 it's not. It's not the fact. It, yo, yo, bro. Yo, hands down, hands down. It's not the fact. It's not the fact that it's. It's. It's not time consuming. It's not. It's nothing like that. It's the fact that I'm like you what we, we take this as this is like a, a mini hobby because basically we we, we we this is a sunday afternoon we're doing we're doing a live not doing a live not but podcast kind of broadcast um and it's and it's it's just a hobby because we're just going in we're talking we're having fun um and w- when you when you think about it we actually have jobs <laughs> we actually yeah. have jobs we have not conventional nine to fives, but we have nine to fives. So, yeah. and in reality, when 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 the clock t- uh, ticks off on that nine to five, well, I'm, our thought process is sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Hell. Hell. When when I'm at work, bro, I I have to sometimes. And the I'm on my year Jordan one. I was actually training a guy, um, and I'm I'm gonna shout out I'm gonna shout out Jair. Um, I was training, and I told the guy, bro, when 11 o'clock hits, I'm going to stop everything I'm doing (laughs) and I'm going to be on my phone for at least five minutes. I'm telling you right now, it was like 1030. I said, I'm stopping and I'm getting on my phone. 
if you want to keep going or if you want to stop with me, it's up to you. But I'm telling you yeah. right now, I'm going to stop for five to ten <laughs> minutes to, <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> so, so even even while I'm working, the 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 sneaker wheels are turning. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sneaker wheels are constantly turning <laughs> because <laughs> it is difficult to get shoes. There are certain processes. It's, it's the raffles. It's the first come, first serve. It's the campouts and all that kind of stuff. So to be able to get these shoes, sometimes you have to stay in sneaker mode, even when you're doing the work that provides you the ability to cop these sneakers. I I I give you I give you a prime example was um I I can relate bro 100 percent relate when when COVID wasn't around and when we were working in the office pre like 2019 um I put I think 2017 probably was that time when Adidas had their um Yeezy day and when they had and when Sneakers app had their Sneakers day and you had to go in and try and find clues and do stuff like that and you were like all right cool I'm, I'm 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 with it and then you know what the best thing was we had a couple of sneakers in the office with us that used to sit there and actually kind of participate so we used to stop <laughs> we used to stop for like bro this is an hour at work stop for an hour try to look for these clues on the system googling stuff like that you're like yo where the where the, where is this clue <laughs> Exactly. Where's the clue? Where can I find this? Where can I find that? Oh, bro, it was it. That's what you call getting into sneaker mode. Because you know what? When you wake up on that day, you're like, "Yo, I know this drop is happening. I know I'm going to work, but is the Wi-Fi okay? <laughs> is the 4G okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna get reception, bro. You know, you know that 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 comes into play. That hundred percent comes into play. Uh, and you know what? Those when you're out and about, so I I give you another example. When you're out and about, and you know what this the thing the thing about being a sneakerhead, you we all got amazing stories. I'm not even joking. Yeah. We have some phenomenal stories. So when pre hype, when did the Obsidian ones come up? When those when did those Obsidian one come? I think 2000 was it 2017 19, or 2018? It was 18 or 19. It probably was set of probably 18. But uh, yeah, so so when the, it's probably 2000, 2018, I think. So this this is probably the pre hype. This is the probably the pre hype to the Jordan ones. Uh, actually, you know what? Matter of fact, let me let me look this up because g- give me give me two seconds and let me look this up. Because I, I I will it will kind of if I say the wrong dates, it's gonna haunt me because basically I wanna I wanna be factual. I'm gonna be factual. Here. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, I know, so I know. Could, it was it was prior. It was prior to my. I say eighteen because it was prior to my introduction to the sneaker culture. But right. so 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 they. I'm I'm just checking on. I'm just checking on the nightcap because the nightcap is. Oh, it's rubbish. I should just check on StockX. It's easy because StockX has got dates, and you know, like even you even though you love it or hate stockx it's still it's a very good inform- informational platform um sorry actually we both got it wrong it's 2019 right, 19 so, okay yeah so 2019 when when those obsidian ones released um i i reserved a pair for my missus because she really wanted them right so i had a size 6 guaranteed from foot locker when foot locker in the uk was decent and when they did reservation <laughs> and now you have to call them and they'll want to pick up the phone. So that's another that's something we'll discuss later. I like later in the other podcasts where we do. Um, but now I've got a size six and I'm like, I want these obsidians for myself. So I will venture to Foot Locker around my area because they've got a first come, first serve. Mm. And pre hype, pre hype to Jordan's. When this is when Jordan's we're getting a bit more affiliated. Well, people were picking them up because of the reputation with Jordan 1s in 2019. And then all of a sudden, we get there at 8 o'clock in the morning, and there's a massive queue. And then it got That's bombarded. A line. That's a line for, for the US audience. A yeah, queue it was a massive a line. line. Queue. Yeah. Not your not your name, bro, but yeah, you're, there's a massive queue up there. You, you were not there, bro. <laughs> yeah. So so um, I, I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, this is a big line. So we, we, we I'll wait. And I waited at the back and then everything kicked off. Like everybody, like ev- everybody turned up at 10.30, tried to get in, forced their way in, started, um, you know, 
hassling the manager. Manager came out, got bombarded. He ran away from the store, bro. He, he did not away. go back in the store. He wait, 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 wait. Store. He ran away. Literally. Yep. Yep. Ran. Then he came back with some tickets. <laughs> and they <laughs> ransacked all the tickets. And I'm like, I'm not getting my pair here. And then it hit. Then, then in Q, they released the Obsidian. They released the Obsidian ones in store. No, in, in on the sneakers up. I mean, All right. And my thought was, I'm gonna try still because why not? But I haven't got reception. You know, if, if if anybody's been on the shopping malls or or in the shopping centers and stuff like that. If you go there, you know the reception is horrible. You know you're going to get no reception. Because everybody got a phone. Yep, everybody's got a phone. And, and to be honest, there's too much concrete around that mall to actually get any reception in sometimes. So I, I was in the queue, put my put my size in. And five minutes later, we got the gone side, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How, and this, 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 this is when the sneakers app, uh, let's just let's just be honest the sneakers app hasn't been terrible it wasn't terrible pre-2019 right no it, halfway through 2019 it got really bad <laughs> yes yes Definitely. it got really bad i and and i i could prove i can like you know what proof of purchase let's let's go with proof of purchase right because i can tell you now with proof of purchase and with, with with my sneakers app account, we will scroll through this. And a lot of people say they don't win on sneakers app. Um, and they need to get a new account and all of that stuff. But like and this is this is a great this is a great segment into this is a great, great segment into into like into what we're gonna discuss next. So as you can see, bro. This is this is my sneakers app. As you can, oh, by the way, the, the top frack. three gold. <laughs> uh, look at uh, uh, Space Jam. Space Jam's there. We got I got the Supreme uh, that Supreme collab for somebody. Look, Cement Threes. What the hell? Kobe's, bro. Do, those those LeBrons are fire. Those LeBrons are fire. Oh, Wolf Gray Twelves, bro. Look, oh I was God. Travis Scott. Travis that's Scott. That ones. Yep. So, hold on. So, so, so. As you can see, as you can see. Then, after that, bro, breads. The, and look. Blood bro. The Masons. You had the Masons? You got them? Yeah. I haven't got them. I get, I got them for somebody. So I always go in for people as well. So you got to remember that some of these, some of these. Oh, oh by the way, the, the dunks, those those Concord dunks. Oh my god, those are fire! And that's what that's Bruce Lee's, the, the, that's, the yep. Skepta, Skepta uh, Air Max, bro. bro. Like like I, when I tell you, when I tell you, like I tell you, sneakers that wasn't ah. bad, bro. <laughs> sneakers app has never been bad well never been bad to me but sneakers app has never been as bad as it's been in the last couple of years and exactly. that's what's and that's what hurts the most is because basically if we, we, when you when you really think about it is when you were able to cop sneakers on the sneakers app and when you were copying sneakers on the sneakers app pre pre-hype pre like you know oh it's gonna kick uh you, like when sneak i was I, I was there when sneakers at first launched on in the UK. Well, I was there. I got it. I downloaded it. I cop sneakers. And then when it got bad, it got really bad. And this is why people complain a lot is because when it was good, it was so good. Super good. Yep. Yeah. I'm I'm and scrolling. Now, I'm scrolling my history, my <laughs> Nike purchase history right now. It don't look it don't look like yours. Bro. It don't I, look I, like I, yours. And, and then the thing is. I copped for people. I, I I actually copped for myself and for people. And I've always kept that kind of mentality as as a sneakerhead. It's because basically, and this is why I say always, all the time on the end of my channels, you all deserve to get the sneakers you want because you all deserve to wear the sneakers you like. And that's always been my motto. Yes, that's always been the motto. Now, 
we, now it's the segment of showing what we picked up in 2022. So give us a view of some heat, bro. Well, I don't, I don't, depends on the person. This may or may not be heat, depending on who you're talking to. And this is, this is the size 11. This is our, our size. Our size. By Which the way, we both, great, we're both size 11. Which another great thing. An, another reason why I love this guy is we are the same <laughs> size and we both have the same we share we're size favorite. twins, bro. Size we, twins. <laughs> we, we we share a favorite silhouette as well in the Jordan Five. But, bro, sheesh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> that. Bro, uh, I, my pair's coming hopefully tomorrow. I, I'm a bit worried because um, Hermes, um, Hermes are delivering it, not not DPD because DPD, Hermes haven't got a good reputation. So I need to keep my eye on it because um, I'm not looking forward to them delivering my <laughs> delivering those cool purples, bro. <laughs> Yo, the cat side, the, the the purple, the purple cat side on the bottom. Ooh, they dark, look nice. They, def- dark, they definitely dark look purple. nice. The the OG cat's eye on the upper. And the 3M is popping. I mean, it's I ain't no. even gotta talk about it. It's popping so hard right now. I I I I I I like if you you probably don't you a lot of people don't know me on this channel on the YouTube on the YouTube front anyway, but I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got I've got like nine thirteens in my rotation. And okay. like, that 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 will make my tenth rotation. Like I, I cop that because I love. I love the fact that that cool purple on that sneaker, that purple on that sneaker, is banging, bro. Yeah, I got seven. This this is not number eight. I did not cop this shoe for myself. I yep. cop this shoe for the bro. <coughs> Shout out, um, ninety nine freak, my guy Sean. Um, and I also have a size twelve on the way. Um, I'm gonna shout out Trip, another one of the bros. I got I got this 11 for Sean, and I got a 12 on the way from sneakers for a trip. This this shoe and briefly, this shoe sat yesterday. This shoe released on January the 8th. It's the first retro release of 2022. Um my review is live, by the way. 808 kicks underscore ATL. All that's going to be definitely go and check that out. It's a great review. Great review. But this shoe sat for about three hours, and when I I got to um, a get together yesterday, and as soon as I walk in the door, the bro um, Black Martin. Bro, my, my wife, my wife, my wife want my wife wanted that shoe. I forgot to, to, to tell you about it. And so I <laughs> I start I start searching and it's gone. All of a sudden, it's Ooh. gone. So it's it was weird. It was a re- it was a weird release um for me because it was available at 10 o'clock. It stayed available until around 12 30, 1 o'clock. And after that, it was gone. And I do we will see restocks on this shoe. 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent We will see restocks on this shoe. It's not hype. Um, the resellers are calling it a brick. So whenever a reseller calls a shoe a brick, you will be able to cop. But it's black and purple. It's it's a Mike Bibby PE high, is what it yep, is. Yep, 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 yep. If anybody I'm knows, gonna, I'm gonna pull up. I'm, I'm pull up the price for you, bro. There you go. Like that there at the moment. That there at the moment is looking at like two, two, two of two or five. Like let's just, let's be honest. That that sneaker retail for like one sixty, one seventy in the UK. So two or five is about thirty five, thirty five pounds over retail. But um, they will. They're like I will tell you this now. That sneaker in the UK and EU. Did not release anywhere else except for the sneakers app. 
And we're going to mention something about that because I mentioned it in the in the video that's coming out on Sunday. That came out on Sunday. Um, I will mention. I will talk about this at the back end of this uh, live. But um, what I'm going to say is that even though it's a brick, it is a beautiful, beautiful brick, and every brick builds a house, bro. bro <laughs> every it's, brick. It's not a brick. L- <laughs> listen, listen, brick. A, a brick to the community, a, a brick to a sneakerhead is not the same as a brick yep. to a reseller. Mm-hmm. When a reseller uses the term I'm, brick. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking the resale of the resale terminology there, but I know that's not a brick because if, if that was a if that was this horrible sneaker, I would not pick that up. I would not pick that up for personal wear. Right. Well a brick, a brick is the shadow 2.0. <laughs> A brick, a brick, is, about that sneaker, bro. <laughs> a, a brick is the Jordan One prototype. That's a brick. The brick of the year for 2021 is the Jordan One prototype. Brick of the year, yeah. hands down, for me. The quality was garbage. The 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 theme, the colorway was cool. That perforated line on the upper. Let's. That that shoe was horrible. That's right, a brick. Cool. That's a brick. <laughs> Wait I'm, a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up a a a, a sneaker that people probably thought. But this is another version. I, you know what? That price has gone up actually. The, the, this is another version of a sneaker that everybody everybody kind of had a bad rep on. Because it was associated with a prototype, but let me just tell you this now: this is one of the one of the best ones released last year. I've got this in hand. Q is going to show you guys, um, but I can tell you this now: this handcrafted one is the new version of the biohack, right? And I can tell you this now: in a year's time. That 172 will not be 172. That 172 will probably be likely 300 pounds. This is this is a beautifully constructed sneaker. This shoe is what the prototype wanted to be when it grows up. I I think the prototype had a massive gimmick to it, which was cut it to a low. Mm, nah. No, nah. we're not doing that. I don't like it. We're not doing that. Bro. We're not doing that. This shoe, the sale, this. This shoe, the return of sale on the upper. <laughs> <laughs> return of the Mac, bro. Return of the Mac. <laughs> return of return of the sale upper on a Jordan <laughs> One. Because people people were killing sale uppers sure, for sure. a while. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, I can't say when I'm gonna wear it, but I like it. I have it. It's 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 part of my collection. I'm gonna have to do some. I'm gonna have to do some work to to make it work for me, as far as a a fit is concerned. But this is this is a good sneaker, bro. I I already already rocked it off the off the off the bat. Like literally, my my one of my favorite sayings is uh, off the bat means mates instantly. Um, so I I rocked that as soon as I got it. I'm going to say it in the British. As soon as I got it, I rocked it. Rocked it. So like basically, um, I unboxing, I got that before Christmas, arrived on Christmas Eve, and then I rocked the unboxing day because that deserved to be rocked instantly, bro. Yo, I, my friend, uh, my friend wants this shoe, but I, I was only able to get one pair. I want to help him out. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you have to be selfish, bro. <laughs> you bad dog. <laughs> so so like I I is, I do think I put I do think that handcraft is or the craft or the, the hand stitch. There's a, there's many variations of name for that sneaker, but I I know I call that hand, I've always known that sneaker to be the hand stitched. Or the, uh, the handcrafted, or, or handcrafted, but they call it, the official name is craft, craft. The, yeah. or the handcraft. 
but like when we when we talk, we I want to show. I'm obviously now. I want to show you what I picked up in 2022 so Yo, far. One of in, one of them. The insole. Oh, yeah. That that that. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know the fact that the insole is like quilted. it's diamond stitched. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it's it's like diamonds. It's not proper quilted like material wise, but it's it's the fabric on it is high quality and it's diamond stitched. And it, and then it kind of goes into the inner lining as well. Yes, so sir. it kind of like there you go. That 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 is beautiful, bro. That hands down with the is Nike tag, a beautiful sneaker. The Nike Air sewn in is not is not printed. It's not pressed in. It's yep. sewn in tag. Yeah. And and can you find a defect on that sneaker, bro? Um, I can try. But it's gonna be hard. You're gonna be hard pressed to because it, it's because it's hand crafted. It is literally it, whoever's crafting those sneakers are actually quality checking those sneakers as they go. While while it's with it with it being handcrafted, obviously human error comes into play. However, I mean, it, do you really is is that a is that a defect? No, nah, that, that that's a that's the end stitch, bro. That, right. So I've got the same thing. I've got the same thing on mine. So ba- so basically, right. what what we're saying is that that sneaker itself is like immaculate, absolutely immaculate. The, the leather, yep. Like that's- it, it, it's it's way better than the prototypes. And you've had, you've had I I dodged like no, you know how you know there's a there's no there's, there's a pile up there's a there's a there's a traffic jam. And you literally avoid it like the plague. That's what I did with those prototypes. I avoided them. Yo, I avoided what, it like I don't want to get COVID. <laughs> what 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 would you call what would you call this leather, TJ? <laughs> it's it's buttercup. <laughs> yes, sir. It's it is buttery. It's buttery. <laughs> this is buttercup. Buttercup. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But like so. Let, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you some. What a lot of people called hype. This, this at the end of at the end of um, at the end of 2021. Uh, so this is if you haven't already seen it is the Jordan One pattern thread. <laughs> it, it is is an immaculate sneaker. It is a beautiful sneaker, and in my in my opinion, if you don't if you don't like pattern. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting all the soundtracks now, bro. <laughs> so, so if, if, if you have to put shoes, I'm like, you shoes like that, and not feel the same. I wish I had shoes like that. So, 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 so those, so the pattern sneakers, like they're not for everybody. Like they're mar- I've to me, uh, in my personal opinion, they're marmite. They either love them or hate them. But, but when the bread colorway comes out, I, I've, I've got like, I think I got like four or five. I've got four or five uh, pattern bread sneakers or patterns variations of sneakers. But pattern breads was a must for me because basically it's a bread colorway and it's a classic colorway and it, and it holds a lot of meaning in history itself. So I have to get it. Um, and lucky enough, and this is when I say sneakers, sneakers is hard to get. I'm, I'm, yeah, that was a sneakers cop, bro. Sorry. <laughs> so, but like, um, but for, for that, for that sneaker, I, we we're, we're gonna have a look at the we're gonna have a look at the releases uh, how releases I think will be happening in 2022 because that sneaker is a bit me of of a release going forwards in 2022 because um that the, the pattern bread the pattern bread ones aren't limited let me let let's, let's reiterate this they they are virgin on a gr than than anything else because. If you have a look at, I know, I know, there's been thirty percent UAs manufactured for the pattern breads, um, but unfortunately, what you got to remember is a lot of resellers, pre-resellers, picked them up. I know, I know, you're good friends with Retro, um, and Retro had a lot of pairs as well, and we yeah. know Retro does le- does legit pairs, right? Yes. So, so we for, off that we already know that if Retro can touch them, then they're not as limited as people think they are, right? No. No, he so, didn't. He didn't. He didn't go through any. Um, he didn't go through any backdoor channels. He didn't. Um, he didn't have to travel to get them as he does yep. um, often with with hype shoes or collabs. He didn't have to travel. Yep. He had them. Um, 
he had them relatively early compared to the release day, but yep, yep. he had a good number of pairs. And this is this is where um, we're heading in terms of 2022 in terms of releases. So the, like I I made a joke on Instagram, and this was in September time. We're gonna see pushbacks. We're gonna see restocks. We're gonna see loads of exclusive axes. I made a joke, right? It wasn't, it wasn't a joke though. It was real. It wasn't. I, I, it was real. It was real. But I made a joke on the sneaker news, sneaker uh, six second sneaker news because I wanted to make. Oh, you know what it's all about. It's all about fun. It's just having a joke with it. But when I said that, I did actually. I did actually mean that because we saw it. Like the thun, like, the thunder fours that are releasing on the fifteenth. Of January, <laughs> they were supposed to release November time, yeah, right? or, or October time. We've I actually uh, I, I the only the only real prediction I got wrong with the, with the, was with those pattern breads. I thought they were going to get delayed to like All Star Weekend because I didn't see why they would release pattern breads at on the thirtieth of January. Which, which to be honest, they released, but my, for on reflection. Before the release date, me and you agreed that there was. I think those were supposed to be released on Black Friday. That yeah. was, and and releases on Black Friday are awesome. Like they, you've had some real classics on Black Friday, and I thought those pattern breads were supposed to be for Black Friday, and unfortunately, it didn't materialize that way. And they kept pushing it back, and they kept pushing it back, and it came to a point where I think Nike thought, you know what, we're going to release this whatever, and they released them on the thirtieth of um december and off the back of that i think they did a full release in the, in the us and they gave us a sneakers release in the uk so in retrospect none of the foot sites out here got them bro none of the foot sites and in in in, in retrospect they were supposed to release on all the foot sites on the 7th of 7th of jan so now with um with you saying you using the term of uh, full release there it was a semi full release in the mm-hmm. US because mm-hmm. on the foot sites meaning and when we talk foot sites for those that don't know we mean stores like foot locker jd sports um champs not we're not i'm not speaking on boutiques big chain corporation shoe stores they did ship to me. None of the foot sites did had or a pickup option. Mm-hmm. So it was only ship options. Um, in, in Georgia, at least foot locker had two stores that was pickup out of the 30 foot lockers uh, and foot locker affiliate stores in the state of Georgia. There were only two stores in the Atlanta area where you could go pick up a shoe if you won. And those pairs were very, 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 very limited. It yeah. might, it, it may have been 20, 20 to 30 pairs of the full size run available. Every other yeah. site was shipped to me. Now JD sports did have limited in-store pairs, but Based on the Cool Gray 11, which we know was probably the biggest Jordan retro release of 2021, if I compare it to the Cool Gray 11, it was not a full release at all. No, 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 no. no. Most of the stores and- that I've that I've uh, talked to people in, they did not get men's pairs. Only grade school pairs were in store. Um, it was in store raffles. Sneakers did their release, but we know. Nike never runs out of sneakers. So and and there will be restocks. Yeah. There will be restocks. Yeah. Foot Locker actually dropped pairs on the 8th uh, um 30 minutes after the 13 release, the Court Purple 13 release, Foot Locker and East Bay did pairs um of course it was ship shipping um first come first serve. It was a mess. It, of course, there were bots involved. Nobody could get through. I tried. I couldn't get through. The app was crashing. The, the, there were errors. But we have not 
we have not, I repeat, we have not seen the full release of Patent Bread Ones. Yep. So if you can hold off, because the price is going down, the resale price has oh. gone down by hundreds. I I I I I put this on my Instagram yesterday night, and I and I and I said and I and I was like, I, it wasn't more. It wasn't told you so. I was basically saying, <laughs> I I I actually thought I actually thought the price. You know, let's the fear, the fearless ones. Do you know your pattern fearless ones? You and see the Chicago's. I thought it would do similar numbers to that because it's a pattern sneaker, but I thought it might be a bit higher because it's a bread. So I was I was ranging between two, and and I don't know a, a really like Benzino, who's it's a guy I talked to on Instagram, was talking about two hundred. Shout out, I, Benzino. I, I, shout out Benzino. I actually factored in the bread value to it, so I thought right, it'll be about it'll be about two thirty to two fifty, right? So I gave that initial impression because I thought that's the price I would I think these are gonna stall at because basically. And this is where I'm going to pull up the screen. I, I thought this is this is where I think we're going to store. It's going to stall out because of of the of the commodity of having a bread and of the fact that it's pattern bread. And this the prices we're seeing at the moment is is not prices for full release. By the way, it's not full release prices. These prices are for for the sneakers in retrospect of what's been released so far, which is. A, I would say 70, 80 percent stock value in the US, and we like let, let's just be honest. Like we haven't seen the full release on end clothing here. We haven't seen the full release on some of the foot sites here. They're still pushing up pairs. They're still late shipments. They're still late deliveries. So off the off just off this release, what it's telling me is sneakers app and Nike and Jordan are going to release their pairs no matter what mm. on release date or if it worst case scenario they will release their pairs right and just say or they will delay it if there's delay in shipment to the coordination of all the worldwide worldwide distribution centers right if that if it aligns they'll release it right and they'll push it out and then once they pushed it out that's their release done when the foot sites get it, when the other retailers get it, I don't think they care, right? But they do care to the point when when they do get it, they'll, they'll expect those to fragment through the next couple of weeks. So you'll see some raffles out. You'll see first come, first serve. And we saw that. Wasn't they a first come, first serve? Like you're talking on the eighth. And then it was like, and it was on online. Um, because of COVID, you might not see the in store. So, it, like this, this, this is the trend we're going to see for a lot of pairs of sneakers mm -hmm. in 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 twenty two and early twenty twenty two into I think into six months into twenty twenty two until they resolve those shipping issues. But already we're seeing the same issue with the Thunder Fours, like the red, the red, the Crimson Fours. Let's just say Crim they, that's the yeah. official name for it. Yeah. So the the Crimson Fours that are coming out on the fifteenth, we already got. A notification for I've already got a notification from one um foot site that there there are delays. There are delays with that. Um we will let you know. Um even even size one of the one of the big foot sites here, size size has already said once we get the in-store raffle has been delayed, once we get those pairs in store, we will notify the winners. And that notification ain't come out yet, bro. <laughs> that notification had come out that this the the, the it's in store raffle complete, and we're re on recording is the 9th of January, so there is going to be restocks. And I I think I think Nike will do exclusive access after the re re after the release anyway. They've um, already they've done. done they've already done exclusive access here. Before before the release, yeah. Yeah. They will do. They, give it. Give it a couple of months. They will do. I think they will do an exclusive access after the releases, and that will be quite predominant. Or I'm going to caveat that, and they will say they will do six months to eight months time near the fall time. They will do another exclusive access. The reason why I say this is the UNC ones. Is the university ones? 
So we we I like I did the I did a review and I talked about this. That that sneaker came out in March. I missed out on it. I walked away from it. And in November time, Nike kindly gave me an exclusive access to the University <laughs> One. They allowed you. Yeah, they allowed you to spend your money. <laughs> you allowed me to spend my money on the University One. So in, in retrospect, I can see that happening with a pattern because I think to give an exclusive access instantly after the release, I think they might wait and they might kind of give it on a day, or they might even do it on sneakers day. Like we got exclusive sneakers, we got all these late delays. We're going to give you exclusive access to some of these sneakers. You have to go and log in. You have to go and do all, do all the you know do all the faff of doing stuff for the sneakers app to get the sneakers. So it could, it, they, they, they have got pairs. Foot sites will have pairs. Um, wait for the full release. And as you can see on screen, bro, that's a size eight in the UK is 230. A size nine in the UK is 244. A size 11 in the UK, or 11 or 10 in our size in the UK is 255. So, and the lowest price, the lowest asking price, the lowest sell price on that is 238, 238, bro. So, so two, 255 pounds is by now, and the last sale was 238. Yeah, that's 346 US. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's still 100 pounds, it's still 100 pounds more expensive. But this is the price range we were looking at. Oh, this is the price range I thought it would sell at once the full release happened. And we, and like I was saying, we haven't seen the full stock levels being published. Well, like two, in terms of distributed, two fifty compared to the six hundred that they were going for pre-release. Oh. Yep. Let's 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 look at let's. Oh, I have to sign in. But that wave that wave chart. Actually, you know what we can do is we can actually look at. We can actually look at all the sales, view sales. I have to log in. Yeah, I can tell you this now. I can tell you this now. That sneaker was sitting at seven hundred pounds. Um, three months out. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, like I said, like I always say, save your money, save save your time, save your save your effort, get yourself plugged in. Go go, go jump jump man twenty three is an excellent website for for releases and release dates. Um, so get yourself plugged in. Don't ever ever pay that pre sale price, and and get get yourself get yourself in the know how to kind of maneuver to you save money. So, um, I know I know resale is not never ideal to pay. And I know Q, you don't pay resale for for anything, to be honest. So uh, I think that's the best advice. And as Cam would say, one of one one of the bros from Instagram is sometimes you have to go down that VND, VNDS route and then pick up a sneaker that's slightly used, which is going to cost you way cheaper than than the sneaker that you buy for retail, even. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm 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 on the Foot Locker site right now. Um, we we are getting a women's panda dunk release on the tomorrow. <laughs> cool Grays will release at a store in New York, store only. Bordeaux ones will release store only in Michigan. Electro orange ones at that same store, and also UNC. Jordan Ones will release on Tuesday, January 11th, at a store in Michigan at Foot Locker. They never run out of pairs, bro. They never it's run out. It's a myth. It's the myth. It's the legend. It's never sold out. <laughs> also, also, Seafoam Women's. The Women's Jordan bro. 1 Seafoam will be releasing at a store in Michigan on Tuesday. So 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 we associate sold out with being a myth and a legend. <laughs> if if it's not a hype shoe, if it's not a collab, more than likely it it does not sell out that first or second or even the third cycle of releases. Yeah. It's that shoe is not gone yet. It may be I, I know for us in the US, it may be state state. Pacific, specific, I'm specific, sorry. yeah, yeah. State, sp <laughs> 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 it, it'll be it's, specific. <laughs> it'll be state specific. However, pairs will be available of the patent bread ones in yep. 2022. At least, 
I'm thinking until you say February, mid February, March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, the reason why I used I know, I know we're talking about the same. We're talking about the pattern buds and release dates in 2022 quite for quite a while now. But the reason why I say this. And the reason why I'm, I'm I think it's key is that's going to be the trend for the early 2022 up and up, up to like April May June time is because the same thing happened with the Jordan 13 core purples like we only saw that on the sneakers app bro and the same thing happened with the pattern bed ones um, we saw that release um, we saw that release happen on the sneakers app in the EU and UK and it disappeared after two minutes on the sneakers that it got sold out and we know that there was a better release in the US for it but that's, but then the, 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 the only the only thing with it is it's going to be some pairs and those court purple 13s came out of nowhere the, I, I actually thought they were going to go, they were getting released in February time and they got pushed forward to, to the first week of oh sec, yeah first week of uh, January yeah. so like I think the, the, it depends on, on how organized that release is because I think that they I like to say there's placeholder dates mm. so when you talk about placeholder dates is if Jordan brand can't release a sneaker and there's pairs that are probably 80% mass produced and 80% with with them they'll release it I think because what release was there for Jordan if it wasn't for the Jordan 13 this weekend to go exactly and i will will say this for 2022 nike and jordan brand because we know when it comes to shipments nike is getting their pairs yeah they are going to make sure that when those pairs leave that production factory their pairs are going out first yep, yep. why would and, they um, why would they ship to Foot Locker or JD or any other store, any other corporation? Why would they ship to them before they ship to their affiliates in other countries? Yep. In the UK, that 13 released on sneakers. It released in the US on sneakers. Sure, other stores in the US had their pairs, but had those shipments been delayed, that shoe would have released on sneakers without a doubt. So Jordan yep. and Nike are getting their pairs out on time if they can. As long as those sto- those those warehouses, those shipment warehouses get their pairs. I fully stop. Yep. yep, yep they're yep. they coming out. That's it. So 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 like I I, I and the only the only uh, the only other thing I can think is when the when when the releases are more organized like the crimson fours which i still think there's going to be some kind of disparity between the foot size and the brand mm-hmm. um, i i still i still feel there is there is definitely going to be delays in some areas they will be a bit more organized than the ones we've got with what we saw with the jordan 13s and the patent bread one so that that's going to definitely have an impact so if you're if like i said like i said on my youtube video for the sneakers in january if you're a sneakerhead if you want to know get your ear to the ground and then keep listening keep looking at to keep, keep looking at the, the status of uh of your foot sites keep getting onto a discord there's loads of free discords that can give you information and help anyway so get yourself on the discord get yourself on jumpman 23 if you're in the states i don't know if there's anything in the uk that we can use but then there is sole supplier there is other sites there is other places you can actually look at release dates they will give you information of when those release dates are happening and i know for a fact some we've already i've already seen three or four places where the infrared force do you know the infrared force right mm-hmm. they've been delayed um there's a cut there's a couple uh there's other couple jordans here and there that have been pushed back and delayed from other from release date so we're already seeing that disparity between the sneakers we're told that, that we're going to get released at the beginning of this year and sneakers being pushed back into mid this year on 2022 because the, the releases are going to be fragmented like that but I'm going to just put a caveat on that as well because I always, always kind of try and remind people because I've been here and done. It's like almost like I need that "been here, done here" T-shirt, bro. Because <laughs> every time, every time at the end of a year we get a release schedule from Jordan Brand pre-COVID. Let's just even say pre-COVID. Those 
those aren't the release dates that they're going to give us because they will get pushed back. And that that is, you know how you have seasons? Yeah. Spring, summer collection, autumn, winter collection. That is your spring, summer collection. That is going to be distributed into August time and before fall. So all the, all, all the fact the release that Jordan Brown telling you the release date is March, February, March, April, May. Those May sneakers will come out in August because they will push the sneakers back. Bro, we were supposed to get the Jade Horizon Jordan 5 in October, August? Yep. They, they were supposed to come out with the Bluebirds. <laughs> exactly. That shoe, oh, is now, that shoe is now the, slated for March. Yep, yep, yep. And it, the, 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 fact, the fact that it's got worse because of COVID, because the sneakers we're getting now should have been, should have been out three months ago, is the reason why we see more and more delays. Um, it's got it, it's got accumulatively worse over the space of a year because of COVID and because of shipments. And we had that issue with with the production of sneakers. And was it in Vietnam that was the issue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all of that plays a massive, massive impact on release date. So maneuver. Like you got your ears to the ground if you're a sneakerhead. And if you're a shoe dog and you collect loads of sneakers and you want sneakers, you need to make sure you're plugged in. (laughs) So, you know, you know how, you know, the Matrix, when Neo's got that big plug on the back of his head, get yourself plugged in. (laughs) (laughs) You got it. We got it. We got to stay plugged into the Matrix. Um, And like I said before, we chasing these shoes like a dog chasing a tennis ball, uh, (laughs) like a dog chasing a car. We 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 gotta stay on top of it. We gotta stay on J23. There's a Soul Links, Soul Retriever. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's so oh, many. I've got a great a great another website for the UK is Drop Dates. Drop Dates is a really good website. It gives you information of of, of drops that are happening. I, I normally check that because it tells you what foot sites is happening at as well. It's, it's similar to Soul Links. I know Soul Links quite well. Um, it's similar to Soul Links. It was your bro. Like I said, I got that being being here and done it T-shirt. I know the links, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we gotta we gotta um, we gotta share information. Um, and the, the, uh, I'm gonna be completely honest right now. As a shoe dog, I I I tend to hold information, but in the interest of the community, we have to share the information so that everybody could get the shoes that they want, because everybody deserves. To what, TJ? Wear the shoes that I like. Exactly. That's the one. You all deserve to wear the shoes. That you... And to be honest, like, I, I don't, I, I would say, like, you, you can see my top, you saw my top 10 collection of sneakers, bro. There was only one collaboration in there, which was the, there was a Travis Scott Sixes, right? I think there's a, I still think it's a gorgeous sneaker. But in my top five, you had, I think you had, um, uh, you had definitely had the uh, Raging Bull Fives. You had the Lightning Fours. You had the Cool Grey One, the Cool Grey Elevens. You had um, South Beaches, which I think, to be honest, they were those those were more of a GRish sneaker. And like I and I don't really thrive on the hype of a sneaker, even though sometimes the hype of a sneaker will give you more views or more more repertoire. Um, I I just feel like. Just wear what you like and rock what you like, um, and keep that keep that positive flow. F- um, like you, you, like you know me for almost a year now. Like I'm, I'm always, I'm always on an upper. Like you never see me on a downer. Like because I'm always yeah. like bang. Like I'm, that's my mentality. I'm, I'm, I want to give and share. Like basically give advice to people and share. And like this is why I always say it's important to rock what you like. Like and this is why I love your intro, bro. Because you rock what you like. You, you, we, you wear what you like. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Definitely the most important thing. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta stay, we gotta stay grounded. <laughs> we got, we got to stay grounded. I'm, I'm dodging the hype. Um, I'm dodging the hype. I, I, I'm, um, I feel like for 2022, I will continue to purchase new shoes at retail. Um, that I, I that I love, but. I am going to go digging in the crates, so to speak. Yep, yep. And um, the bro love for kicks cam. He will, um, we will have him on the podcast um, and his philosophy 
moving forward, um, his New Year's resolution, so to speak, is to not get caught up in the hype, not get yep. caught up so much in what's new. And if you can spend that same money that you would on a new release on other past releases that you have well, an affinity you, for. So yeah. I'm I'm looking at that right now. He sent me some links uh last night actually. <laughs> you should create a Discord, bro. Bro, like he we we we, we, we you call us shoe dogs, right? Mm-hmm. He that's a new level. You need to check if if anybody's not been on oh by the way, my 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 Instagram and my YouTube is Love Kicks Customs, right? Yours is 808 kicks or mm-hmm. your 808 kicks and ATL, which is which is your Instagram as well. But we collectively, myself, Alex, um, Alex DG, uh, E got souls and Cam, which is love for kicks. We created a a live because we used to do a lot of lives, and then we created a separate channel to make it in one place. And on that, in the beginning of January, we did our top 10, right. Go if you have a chance to go straight to the toe. It's at straight to the toe, not the two. Spell it all out like a, like it's formally written. Go on that and check out Cam's top ten. No. <laughs> no. Go seriously. Go on that and check it out because that will blow anybody's top ten. I I I can I, I will literally say any non celebrities top ten I would say that's probably one of the best top tens out there. Um, I know you said no because it annoyed you the most, bro. No, no. Cam Cam Cam's Cam's top ten is a cheat code. Okay. Yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's Cam, say that. And you know what, Q? Like he didn't even show you the shadow back ball one point zero as they picked up. He didn't show you the shadows he picked up. He didn't show half the things he picked up, bro. This, you know what? Uh, we, I'm tired of talking about Cam. We're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not gonna do this on the first episode, okay? <laughs> we're not gonna do this on the first episode, bro. We can't. We can't. Oh. I'm just showing up, bro. I'm just showing up. <laughs> You need you need you just change your soundboard because we need a dragon, bro. <laughs> Yo, we got when we when we get Cam when we get Cam on to one of these episodes, um, and I'm I'm hoping sooner than later, uh, because we we do I know we both got guests um in in mind that we want to have on the on yeah, the yeah, show, yeah. but man, that dude Cam is something else, man. Yeah, that dude yeah. is something else. You hear me? Shout out, love for kicks, Cam. Y'all, please go follow him. When we post it, we're gonna put description uh, in the description. Yeah, our IGs and um, the people that we mentioned. Um, exactly, exactly. You gotta, you got, you gotta tune in with Cam. Cam, he's a sneaker historian. He's yep. a, he's a good dude. He's uh, a very well-rounded sneakerhead. He's been yeah. in a sneakerhead probably way longer than both of us combined right. he's, he's, to be honest he hasn't got many many years on us either but he's been a sneakerhead like way yeah. way longer way way longer um so he's he's definitely a story and he can tell you he can tell you a thing or two about sneakers um he does cut we do a cut like we do a customs talk on straight to the toe so we have a discussion there as well we pull out customs as, as you can see like i've got, still got custom gear here acetone i still got the shattered backboard Colorway here, buttercup. Yeah, buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, if 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 you know, if you don't know, then you should know now because this is where buttercup came from. Like that's because I bought some buttercup and just paint. <laughs> so that's where the buttercup. And we we had we had a we had a massive like talk about yo. Where did but, well, say buttercup again? It's buttercup. Like, Why are you saying buttercup? The buttercup. That was a hey, whole better than conversation. That. You better not, bro. We love your accent. Don't let <laughs> don't let the trolls make you make you straighten up your accent, okay? Bro, you you yeah, look, you, you can troll me all you want, but ain't gonna work. <laughs> ain't gonna work. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but so um so we, we talked about releases for 2022. We talked about uh, what we've picked up in 2022. So is there 
a subject that you want to talk about at this moment in time? Um, um not really. Um I think I think for the first episode um we've we've talked about ourselves, we've talked about some of our history, we talked about some of the bros. Um we do have we do have some more things to iron out as far as um what the shoe dog podcast will be moving forward. However, it will be a lot of banter. <laughs> it, will, <laughs> it, it will be a lot of information given uh to the community because we are sneakerheads, true sneakerheads, a part of the community. And this is what we plan on doing this for is for the community. For and by the community is yep. the shoe dog podcast. Hundred percent, hundred percent. It is 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 definitely something that I think I think you you got me wrapped up into. Like I would say this, you got me wrapped up into. You was like, yo, I want you on this. Like, All right, cool. And then like I, I don't, I didn't think I don't, I didn't give it a second thought. And um, and then in this November December time, you got serious with it, and I was like, yeah, okay, this might be happening. Yo, <laughs> and, yo. Listen, and in January, here we are. <laughs> there's no other person um, that I will want to partner with to do this. Um, let, let me let me let me rephrase that. There's no better person. Oh, in, cheers, bro. <laughs> in, in, in my opinion, to, to partner with to do this. Um, like I, I spoke on before, the, the different perspectives from being on different sides of the world. Um, the fact that we do share we share a favorite sneaker. We share a, a, a shoe size and we have, we have so many, though we are so different, we have so many different things in common. And um, you, you the bro, man, like since I met you, since, since I was on the hunt for, for those K54, <laughs> those K54 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan fives, you know, we've been cool ever since. So I just appreciate oh. it, man. That, that that's a story and a half. Like I'll, 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 I'll briefly touch on it. Like if if you if you're if you're a if you're a sneakerhead and you really love sneakers, what you really don't want to do is give a sneaker to a bro for above resale. <laughs> exactly. Let's just say, let's just say. So the the, the Jordan Five Quay Fifty Four came out. I managed to cop a pair for Q. And you know, with Brexit happening, they charge just custom taxes and all of that stuff. So when I got it in hand, it cost me already 200 and they cost, oh, so two, there's two, 170 plus another 70, which was 240, right? So they already cost me 240 to get in hand. That's a beautiful sneaker, bro, by the way. They, they cost me 240 to get in hand, right? And I was like, all right, cool. Now they cost, they're going to cost me another 35 pounds to get to Q. Right, so that's already two seventy to two eighty. That translated in you in the US is above resale. How much was it, bro? Three eighty. Yeah, about three eighty. Yeah. So I phoned you, and I said, "Shu, I can't give you the sneaker." And you was like, "Why?" And I was Why? like, "What are you talking about?" I can't. I c- yeah, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> so, no, I can't give you the sneaker, bro. I can't. I literally can't give you the sneaker. Um, and you, I was like, you was like, but why? I said, bro. And then I broke it down for you, and I was like, yo, it cost me one seventy. Then they charged me seventy pounds duty. Like that's fifty percent. That's above. That's almost fifty percent. That's almost fifty percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after got ship, I then I got to ship it to you, and it's gonna cost you. 280 pounds to get and the resale on that is not high. Um and and you were like, all right, cool, I understand. And I said, bro, you're a bro, I can't do it to you, man. I can't, I can't send you the sneaker and give it to you for 380 or 400 dollars because it, it is I don't want you to waste your money. And that's that's because I don't want people to waste their money on sneakers. So what I did do in the background was look for another pair which which Q can get, which was what, 280 dollars, I think. It was yeah, two eighty plus I still I still had to pay the, the fees because it, yeah. it did come from the UK but it was nowhere near um I, I think it was three three oh two. Three oh two. So you already you already saved you like 
80 80. to 90 quid yeah it's a a dollar so that is but uh, in reflection those sneakers sat and they kind of didn't do as well as what people thought they were going to do anyway but that's another subject we talk about well that's another subject we will talk about in the future but like from what i'm saying is like i could not it's not it's not worth um, sticking anybody over for high cost, and then that, and to be honest, that sneaker, that sneaker still with me. I've, I've I got two pairs, and I will get I got one for Mr. Miller. Shout out to Mr. Miller as well. I got I got one for Mr. Miller. Um, he got his pair already hooked up, which is great. So I, I I ended up getting two pairs of that sneaker, but one I love five, so I'm gonna keep that. And then one, it's, it almost reminds me of the what do you mean the red metallics, and then um. Fire red. Oh, the white man. Fire red. Sorry, fire red. So, and then um, the other one, I'm going to nicely turn into friends and family pack. So, you know, <laughs> 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 all black. Oh, no, bro, the all black friends and family pack on that sneaker is fire. Yeah. It's fire. Yeah. And but the, the I, only yeah. thing is, is, is suede. It's not leather. Yeah. But, and um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to kind of, and when I do customs, I always, always make sure there's something in there from the original custom side. So it kind of gives, a, a a homage to that sneaker but one sneaker i would i one of the grails i want and you i'm going to show you bro is it is i haven't got the original i need to get the original first as well but uh hold on what well, i'm just trying to pull this up on the share screen sorry bro um and it was there it was there i this is such a phenomenal sneaker. That is the grill, bro. That there. I'm why is somebody selling it for 10 grand? It was about it was it was about two grand. So that there, and if you love fives, if you love if you love Jordan fives, that there is the thing that's a hell of a shoe right there man that is a hell of a shoe bro hell of a shoe bro so yeah but on that note bro on that note <laughs> we have hope like, like literally do hope you guys join us for more of these podcasts i know it is we're almost ranging for two hours now so um but it is right. we're trying it's going to be informative it's, it's going to be like us just breaking it down we talk we'll, we'll probably end up talking about subject matters uh, which me and q need to discuss and we also will be talking about um what's happening in the current climate to give you guys as, as, as much advice as possible because like as i always say it's good to be in the know to cop these sneakers for retail for sure for sure for sure for sure, for sure. so on that note do you want to close it out sure should i close it out bro <laughs> yeah, this 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 has been the first official episode, <laughs> the introduction to the Shoe Dog Podcast. We got my guy TJ Love Kicks Customs on IG. I'm Q Rocker from 808 Kicks ATL, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace out. Peace out. Peace. peace.